I'm uh, Harry Stout Jr. from Snow Camp and I took my basic training in Fort Bliss, Texas. We moved to uh, Orlando, Florida and from there to California and got on the USS Mount Vernon, a big uh, ship had been made into a troop ship. And we landed in Australia and moved up uh, to Townsville and we were it was close to the Coral Sea Battle. And from there we moved to uh, Good Enough Island and then on to Hollandia, New Guinea. And I was on the invasion of Hollandia and Biak Island. And I was on Biak when the uh, atomic bomb fell. Then we moved to uh, uh, Australia and so uh, I'm in Manila and I had enough points <laughs> to come home so I got back to California and we thought we'd make it home for Christmas but they had a transportation uh, strike out there, so we didn't get out until uh, January 2nd, 40, 1946. And I guess uh, the reason I thought I accomplished something is uh, when it come down to go, I wanted to go because all my friends is leaving. And I appreciate, uh, well, I, let me add, I was discharged with malaria fever. I've got 10% uh, disability and there's so much red tape for keeping that eleven dollars a month of coming that I just give it up and uh, Dr. Goley and Grimm uh, was treating me for the malaria fever and after I gave it up different ones wanted me to reopen my claim I did and didn't, didn't do no good so, well, you had a, a very important uh, job, particularly from a perspective of a pilot. Uh, what did you do? What was, what was your main emphasis? And tell me a little bit about those B-24s and whatever. Yeah, there's always, uh, we set up our searchlights on each end of the airfields. And, uh, we turned them lights on at night so the pilots could find the airstrip. And I seen a different ones disabled and come in. It was something to watch them try to land it. And right at the treetop level, here come a parachute out behind. I thought he waited too long to jump out, but they put that out to slow the plane down. And so I guess uh, the park one of the B-24s beside a, my barracks and I'd get on it and crawl through the bomb bay and back to the back and we had a time uh, looking at a B-24. What did you learn in the Army that you've carried with you? Yeah, we, I guess uh, 
that uh, what we accomplished, we, we were told uh, we're going to uh, join the United Nations and that would be uh, better than what World War One, the League of Nations. But see, like the United Nations ain't uh, been too great. What have you carried personally with you in life? Yeah. What What have you done? What What did the army and how did the army affect you uh, to where you have personally gained from it? Well, <clears throat> I wanted to go to college when I got home, but this malaria fever kept me down. <clears throat> and I tried to get in a Western hospital and they told me there's such a long waiting list, it'd be months before I could uh, get in. So that malaria fever lasted uh, a couple of years on me, really. And so I think it knocked me out of going to college. But you've done well. But uh, that $11 a month, they even, uh, the red tape involved, they won't know what my daddy owned and get this doctor and that doctor to tell what they're treating me with. I couldn't run all over the country for $11, so I just told them, forget it. <laughs>